Hello everyone, this is Richard from Home Tech Video. In this video I'm going to be showing you a couple advanced things that you can do within Blue Iris and how you can link in certain home automation products with Blue Iris and uh, you can control cameras and have different things happen based on different events. Now all of these are going to be done using HTTP commands. So I'm going to show you just two commands today in this video. I'm going to show you the first command is how you can control a pan tilt zoom camera to go to certain presets that you have selected. And then also I'm going to show you how to activate a camera um, or trigger a camera based on an HTTP command. And I'm going to show you how this all ties together and how you can use this for different ideas you, uh, for home automation. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can control a pan tilt zoom camera to go to a specific preset based on if a camera gets triggered. So for example, um, this camera here on the bottom right is a pan tilt zoom camera that I have multiple presets set up. So for example, my preset number one is my garage. Uh, it'll move over into that part, or it's the driveway essentially, but I call it garage. So I'm gonna go back in here to preset number three, and I'm gonna have this camera move to my garage preset based on when this bottom left camera gets triggered. Um, to do this, the first thing that you need to know is the camera short name of the camera that is your pan tilt zoom. So if you right click on your camera, go into camera properties, uh, under general, this is the short name. So this camera name is PTZ. So now let's go ahead and set up the trigger. I'm gonna right click on the bottom left camera here, which is named front garage camera. I'm gonna go to alerts, and then I'm gonna select uh, fire this alert when this camera is triggered. And then only under the motion zones, I have this one set up for four to, uh, uh, five different zones, zone A through E but you can have it only on specific zones. So you can set up like a zone G if you wanted to, but I'm gonna have this just on these zones. And then make sure that you have the option post a web address or, MQ, or uh, MQTT server, and then go into configure. And then this is the IP or the um, HTTP command that you need to have put in up here. So the first part of this is the IP address of your Blue Iris machine, followed by semicolon and then your port number. Uh, hopefully you know how to get this. If you don't know where this is at, then this probably is not the video to be watching then. Um, followed by slash admin, this doesn't change. This is a uh, base, this is part of the command. The parts that on this command that you'd wanna change is this part right here. So this is the camera short name. This was my pan tilt zoom short name. Uh, we're also gonna be changing here where it says preset. So I want this camera to move to preset number one, which is my garage preset. And then we'll be changing this field, which is your username for um, you to be able to log into Blue Iris. Now, this has to be an administrative account for this to work. And then the last part of this command is your password for your, your username and your password for Blue Iris. So I'm going to go ahead and hit test, and I'll show you. Um, when I hit test, it's basically going to trigger this bottom right camera, or bottom left camera, and move the pan tilt zoom into preset number one because that's what I have selected here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit test. And there you have it. Camera just moved to preset one. Now, how you can link this in with home automation products is um, you can have different motion sensors set up around your house. I've seen people with a pressure sensitive placemat um, that will automatically have their camera move to that position when the placemat, placemat gets stood on. Um, that's out of the scope of this video and how to send or how to control those different things. But to show you, if I copy this command, let me copy it, cancel, cancel. I'm gonna move this camera back into a different preset. Uh, I'll go back into the preset one. And then I'm just gonna open up a Internet Explorer page. And then I'm gonna just paste this command into my address bar and then hit enter. I'm gonna hit enter and then I'm gonna click on my blue iris icon here so you can show as soon as I hit enter. Oh. Uh, bear with me here, looks like my computer froze up. There we go. So I just hit enter and you kind of caught it at the very end there. So it moved to preset number one for that camera. So. That being said, if you use different programs like um, MyQTT, 
uh, if this then that uh, you might even be able to do it through some home automation products where you can send an HTTP command. You can have your cameras move to different presets based on that uh, command. So the second part of this video I want to show you is how you can have a camera triggered from an HTTP command as well. So why would you want to use this? Well, I had a, a client that was asking me how they can have a camera trigger based on um, certain events. So. Um, for example, I have this mailbox, uh, this is my pan tilt zoom camera zoomed in on my mailbox. Let's say you have a, a camera set up specifically to watch your mailbox. Um, let's say people were stealing mail or, you know, you just wanted to know when your mail gets delivered. Hypothetically, you can have a, a sensor inside of this mailbox um, that is wireless using Z-Wave. And whenever that mailbox would be open, you can have a command um, set up either using a Raspberry Pi or some similar device. Um, you can have it to where it would send an HTTP, com uh, HTTP command. Um, then Blue Iris would receive that command and then trigger that camera and then that would alert you, um, you know, to either start recording or uh, send you a picture message or, you know, just give you an alert that something happened during that event. Um, you can have this set up to different doors in your house. So if somebody opens your front door and you have an indoor camera, you can go and have that triggered to go ahead and start recording. Um, if it was, you know, around the, the corner of the house or something like that where the camera wouldn't get triggered from motion. So in this example, um, this was a really handy thing to have on the mailbox because he didn't want to get false triggers for the cars driving up and down the road, you know, every time that a car would drive by. He only wanted the, the camera to start recording if his mailbox was opened. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you do that. So really there's nothing in Blue Iris that you need to have done. Um, everything's already set up on this camera um, to start recording. Uh, well, this this particular camera is recording 24-7, but I want to go and show you how you can have it to where you have an alert set. So very simply, if I open up a web browser, I have the command already typed in here, but it's um, admin question mark camera equals PTZ, which is the um, short name for the camera, and trigger, and user equals, and then you have your username and your password. So you just fill in that information that's going to be... Um, uh, up here with the information that you need for your own system. So I'm going to highlight this and hit enter. It'll resend the trigger command. I go back, in, back into Blue Iris and let me go and refresh. And if you notice down here at the bottom, I have the little icon here showing that the camera was triggered. And that was triggered from remotely, not within Blue Iris. There was no motion that ha happened. Um, this just basically is an HTTP command that was sent to Blue Iris. So you can have something built around um, sensors, so you can have motion sensors, you can have, you know, pressure sensors. The, the possibilities on, on something like this are really endless, but just wanted to show you a couple of really ideas that you can do with Blue Iris. So I um, hope this video helps somebody in at least coming up with some stuff that you can do uh, with automation and using Blue Iris. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day.